Good morning, everybody. We are here. We're excited. I will tell you it's a good morning to us. Many of you saw that we had a wonderful, beautiful, crisp uh, rainbow that was a sign to me of um, security and positivity. And we're going to be talking to you today about the things that um, we already knew we've been preparing as a company, as a family, as human beings, especially here in California, the things that, um, that came about that we'd like to share with you today about what is pertaining to you and pertaining to LuLaRoe and of course our warehouse and everything. So I'm gonna turn the time over to Mark. Last night we received a order from the governor implemented it in the state of California, which is basically a stay at home order. Uh, and as Deanne said, we anticipated that this might happen and so we have been preparing for it. I wanna reassure you that we will continue operations uh, we are shipping from South Carolina, and so the warehouse in South Carolina is fully c capable of shipping. Uh, we have a plentiful supply of product in South Carolina right now. And so, uh, and John mobilized his crews last night and uh, moved uh, several truckloads of product from, from uh, Fontana and got them on the road headed to EDC. So we have plenty of product to support ourselves through this, through this process. Um, guys, we're living in a, this is a, a historic time, unprecedented. I don't think any of us have ever seen anything like it. And uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, we prepare for those things that are, that are coming. Uh, not only were we prepared for this, but we have multiple plans in place as we go forward, as the, de as the situation de de develops, as it changes, um, we have contingency plans. So uh, we have multiple departments that are able to work from home. Uh, I want to be clear that uh, in California with labor law and with security issues on computers and several other things that are taken into account, we've had to stretch into that working from home. But right now we have almost every function covered. Uh, of course, our IT guys are doing an incredible job keeping the shopping cart open and making sure that you can process orders. Uh, we have, uh, I think, only a handful of our departments that won't be functioning. Uh, one of those is uh, returns and cancellations. Sorry, if you want out of the business, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> um, uh, we're, we're, we're focused on supporting those people that are trying to, to, to remain in the business right now. We also will not be supporting comp calculations. Now, comp is being supported. That's run automatically in the background. But if you're wondering how did my check get to this amount or whatever, there may not be somebody available to answer that question. There also may be a little bit of wait times on some tickets as you process them. But uh, all the functions are open and uh, we are, we're running business as normal. Is it okay if I just kind of sneak out? And when I need you, I'll sneak okay. right back if in. If you want to add anything, I will. just I mean, step sure. right back in. We do have an adequate supply. Also, you have an adequate supply. I know that a lot of you are sitting on inventory, and so this is an opportunity. This is a moment in time where you can go ahead and utilize that, that product that you have. This is a challenging time. It's a challenging time in your business. It's a challenging time in our communities. It's a challenging time in your families. And uh, we've, we've seen already in the past how our community comes together and we have a strong belief in your ability to work through these things and to show that leadership in your communities. There'll be a lot of opportunities to help and to serve others. We're, we're at a, a crossroads right now. It's, it's kind of interesting because in tough times, there is a historic effect through recessions where people will spend money on things that are in their control. Uh, you know, movie theaters and restaurants and small purchase items actually do pretty well during a recession. Well, we're in a unique time where those things, most of those things are not available. Clothing is, and, and there's some psychology behind this and that people wanna feel in control and they wanna feel uh, some normalcy in their life. And in, in something as simple as making a purchase of clothing can make them feel comfortable and give them that little, that little, okay, life isn't completely out of control. Now, I wanna be very careful as we talk about this because many of you have heard me over the years talk about the switch that's in the back of your head. And the switch is this, am I selling because I wanna make money or am I selling because I wanna serve my community? 
And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're selling because you want to make money, uh, your community will turn on you. You will not be looked upon favorably. If on the other hand, you're selling because you want to serve your community. If you come to that sell from a place of love and service, your community will rally around you and see you as a blessing to them and not as somebody who's just trying to leverage their, this, this moment for your own gain. Many of you have sponsored others into this business. And many of you have relationships with others that you haven't sponsored. Uh, we have this community. This is an opportunity to reach out, especially to those that you have a responsibility to, but also those that you just have friendships and relationships with. Check on them. See how they're doing. Lift them up. Make sure that if they're, that, that you're there to, to support. Um, we want to make sure that our community is taken care of. And so we can't do that for everyone, but you can. As you connect with each other, uh, even if it's just to say, you know what, we will get through this. Uh, that's a significant uh, service that we can do to each other. Um, this is our opportunity. We continue to talk about a community where love and service provide a sense of joy and fulfillment. Guys, in tough times, that's more important than ever. That's more true than ever before. Your love and service to the community is going to give you an opportunity uh, to bless your community, but will also bring you a sense of comfort and joy and fulfillment. Think about the things that you have control over, and honestly, uh, this is a time for you to have self-reflection about the strength that we're courageous over. Um, for me, I want to, to challenge you all to think about what you can do. Everything's going to be okay. You guys, it will be okay, uh, no matter what, no matter what we go through. Your people underneath you are in your charge. They need to know that you love them and you care about them. This is a great opportunity for you to reach out to your new customers. Any of your customers, that goes to each and every one of you. Have a video time and reach out to them individually. Let them know, hey, I'm just thinking about you, I was worried about you, I care about you. Um, what is it that you need? I want you to know what I'm doing as a family. Hey, we're playing cards, we're doing a jigsaw puzzle. Um, you know, people need hope. They need to know that they're not alone. And remember, you're creating a community of confidence and courage. We're gonna bring this society together. Let's do more things together via the internet, uh, the things that we can control, these video chats and everything else, whatever you can do. I hope that you'll share ideas back to me. So many of you have got my cell phone number. I'm here. I'm here at your uh, beck and call. I do this for you, but you know what I do? I do it for me because I need the cheerleading too. I need to know that, guess what? When I'm feeling a little bit maybe not so chipper, I know that, you know what, if I go out there and I serve someone else, it's going to give me that chipper back to me. And guess what? It's proving true because you're all doing that. You're responding back with your positivity. We cannot do this without you. And we hope that you can't do this without each and every one of us. It's not about the clothing. It's about the society. It's about our community. And it's about loving one another. And our goal is to run our business with as little disruption as possible so that you can run yours with as little disruption as possible while we maintain health and safety for our communities, for our families, for our employees, um, and for all of those around us. We'll be back in touch as soon as there's a further update. Thank you. Okay. I guess so let's do... <laughs>